an ascent, but you know, I'm worried about them if the, if we go to the third map, if we go to that ice box, what's that going to look like here? Uh, opening pistol round, a couple ghosts, a couple frenzies uh, for the side of Go and Go Prince, and about the same. There are some classics in there. Bunny and Athena. Bunny, of course, loves loves to right click with the classic. Uh, that's very very standard for him, and he has to have those blast packs, especially on the attack side. Shock dart to check. Mark at a bench. Hard to say exactly where it was going to land, but Recon Dart's not going right to find by anything. Pizza, kind of, yeah. I'll be just clearing the turret out for now. Xenox awaits. Is this Dart ready to go with a bounce? An unusually slow start for F4Q. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's because the utility is more expensive now. That's that's actually really true. I mean, they, they're they taking their time. And also, you know, they've changed up their strategies and those kind of things. So they're they're really a much more patient team. And, you know, they'll let the players oh. like, oh, Athena's going to get spotted out by Halbe, though. Out yeah, yeah, playing around B-Main does get eliminated. But you're falling low. Puts half HP damage into 5K. But Cobra now going to fall over on the point. Spike getting ready to be planted here as F4Q make their entrance onto the A site. Slow creep coming in from Halbe as he tries to work his way over towards short. And 4Q for now are going to be entrenched. Well, it's it's a pretty decent setup, and it's a really long flank coming from Halbe. Uh, you can see Bunny's just pre-firing up through there. Kosa has to be a little careful. He has no utility, so it's just going to be, you know, dry peaks for him. Yeah. Jojo, there's just very, you know, limited amounts of what he can do. You can see right now in the astral form is, oh, Kosa will spot Bunny. A little bit of damage in exchange. Does come up with that kill, so we'll be a man advantage at the moment for Gold Go Prince. As the suppression comes through, Albay making his entrance in through main. Esperanza in onto the point. He's not really sure which way to look. They won't have to finish, but they're not going to have the defuse, I don't think. So we'll just see this one detonate. So round win still goes the way of F4Q. Yeah, I mean, even though you know, all of F4Q dies, it is a really long rotate by Halbay. It just takes forever to go through. Uh, attacker side spawn to get in there, and yeah, they ended up winning the cro the fire because of that because of those crossfires he's able to set up. But it just takes him so long to get in position. Nobody has any utility again, like you were talking about. Utility so expensive, it's really hard, especially on this pistol round, uh, to go for these retakes. A lot of their utility had been expended into B main, so not much available for them on this retake. We'll see now. What happens is specters across the board and the bulldog. Come in for F4Q. Look Sheriff in the hands of Halbe. Stars up already for Zumba. I mean, yep. he is He's prepared. All over the place with him. Yeah. He's getting ready to go for the corner check. Sees the turret, but don't necessarily know. That's and an ox has crept his way forward, but they do pull back. It's a bait turret and he knows it. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not I'm not gonna fall for that. There's somebody waiting around the corner with a classic. Oh, well, 5k finds Kosa here in mid. To pick off, gets rid of that suppression. Sheriff shots coming through just to clear the turret. Pino takes a couple shots in, but we'll find too much. And now everybody gets ready to storm onto the A site, which is completely unoccupied at the moment by Gongo Prince. But just looking for a uh, little wanting you know, on the wall bang. Not going to find it. Quite a bit of damage, though, from 5k. Now has to pull back. Three members in mid from Gongo Prince, making their way up onto the short. It's going to be really tough for Go-and-Go -Go Prince, of course. The, the guns in particular make this really, really difficult, but all the angles really well covered by F4Q. Yeah. Bounce not finding too much. Of course, the knocks back for a moment. It's still just going to be hanging out inside the cloud. Tries to go for the push. Right clicks get a little bit of damage on Esperanza, who now shifts over to the pistol. Athena will find Cobra through the smoke. And it's just Halbe. It's a nice shot onto Zumba, but then will fall. One member down, F4Q. They take the second round. Yeah, this is just really clean, really well thought out by F4Q. This is kind of an unusual start for F4Q. It's very patient. It's very disciplined. They're taking their time. They're crossing their T's, dotting their I's. And you can see where with a player like Zumba coming to this team where he brings that discipline in here. And they're ready for everything. They don't overaggress. Afina does a really nice job in B main, not getting baited around the corner here. You know, Esperanza doing a nice job holding this corner at great gravity well as, you know, perfectly timed to drag everybody into it as well. Halbe with a decent shot, but of course, uh, not much he can do in recourse. And they were covering their backside angles too, having mid top under control with 5K with that Bulldog is a great crossfire to put onto mid to really keep that on lockdown. Start with a three-man stack over at B. 
Drone will go up over bench through pizza. Blind does come through. Drone trying to apply some pressure from the side, but just can't quite connect. Doesn't get any damage onto them. Could have been a huge one. How about now? Looking to hold down market. Finds two before getting eliminated. Speranza tries to drag that one back, but Kosa still situated here. Over at the entrance of B, finds an extra kill, and just like that, it seems like Go and Go should be winning out on the rifle round. Speranza, yeah, he's completely spotted and surrounded. But not in much of a position to try to alleviate too much pressure here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Almost. He got a hit, but it wasn't exactly, you know, a, a wall bang hit. So it didn't do the full damage there to Esperanza. And well, now he's trying to escape uh, through the bell tower. Zumba's going to lead the way through B main. So I like this little maneuver at least, uh, you know, kind of keeping the go and go Prince guessing a bit. Kosa still there, though. Still a bit of utility for him. And the knife will be back. Doesn't catch anybody this time around. I kind of thought they might oh. still be in market, but Anox gets caught corner checking. There's an up there right there. I found them. Spamming through the wall, but they need to get onto the side soon. But here's Koza. That's locked down. Gravity Well's not going to find him. And he gets Esperanza as he goes into the smoke on the drop. Very nicely done from Koza. Nicely done from Gogo -Go Prince overall. A solid start. Leads now into a round to win. Yeah, I mean, Koza just hiding in a really cheeky spot there that's difficult to check there's so many angles when you get into that b site that you have to worry about especially because of boats being back there and there's a lot of cheeky spots you can hide in there as well how doing a really nice job here i'm not sure <laughs> buddy gets in there just isn't able to really get his gun out in time and kosa catches that as as uh, Esperanza is falling, really nicely done but hunter's fury uh, available to counter the lockdown from how if it's used i don't know what we're gonna see with uh <laughs> well yesterday you know, it's tough to to be again to be fair to Solo from yesterday with the with the lockdowns. I mean, the 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 KO utility does rather make it challenging to get any effective use out of it, even more so than your typical kind of mollies and other utility that's available. I do see Kosa sitting here at A, so he's rotating around, and I like this. One of the things that I was wanting to see from him is trying to figure out what is going on in Bunny's brain where he's going to be playing at. Because, you know, he tries to go in with that double blast pack entry. You get the knife out in the middle of it. Suddenly, he can't do anything. Suppression, I do believe it did hit him. Bunny for now, yeah, not going to be able to do anything. But this doesn't interrupt his entry. But it seems like call will come in for FOQ to rotate out of a main. Potentially into mid. Try to spread out just a little bit more. But, oh, okay. Maybe just a little bit of a fake. Let them hear the footsteps and then come creeping back in. Yeah, but nobody really biting yet from Go and Go Prince. They're, they're pretty well entrenched. And now let's see the Astra Star. Uh, that's going to be Go and Go Prince's Astra Funny's Star. Funny's getting here. set up for it. Here we go. Dagger's not yet available. Funny gets the entry, lands up top, and he has got the spray transfer. Slight little one there. Manages to find two. On the flank, 5K takes out JoJo before Halbe finds a kill, but that's the only one they've gotten thus far. But he is going to be low. Shock Dart right down into that corner. Would have finished him off, but he does manage to survive for a little bit longer at least. We will be seeing the lockdown committed to the fight, but there's a Hunter's Fury here from Esperanza. The destruction on that bunny will be clipped, but Halbe taken down shortly thereafter. So losing two members, F4Q, they come back in. They pick up another round. It's just so amazing to watch Bunny. The patience again, great from F4Q. They wait out. Uh, Kosa's utility, they've recognized that that's a big uh, potential hindrance into what they need to do. Uh, like you were saying, with the blast packs, you know, if you get caught with a suppression like in midair or something, you can't all of a sudden, you're like just in no man's land. But Bunny, uh, what's always impressed me the most about Bunny is his ability to stay vertical with his blast packs, to get to spot to spot, to make it really hard to transfer, not just onto him, but onto his teammates. A great lurk from 5K into short A. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think it'd be hilarious to see what Bunny does if he gets suppressed in the middle, like right before that second blast <laughs> yes. pack comes out. The timing would be so perfect, so difficult to pull off. Opening kill, though, comes in. It's 5K. It's Cobra's head off. He's been having a little bit of a rough start. There's Fury, obviously not going to be there for Anox yet, so this lockdown will basically be for free. They spot Koza hiding in the corner over towards Tree, but he does get headshot wall bank. Oh. Good pick up from Halbe, but might be as good as it gets, at least for now. Two members left standing, only sheriffs in hand, no guns recovered. 
But Nox does manage to find one more. Gonna even things up as best as possible. Dart comes in, 5k does get spotted, and a Nox takes his head off. Can't quite line up that other shot to the gravity while messing with his aim. Hubei will come pushing through, and Afina will cut him down. But this was way more costly than F4Q would have anticipated. Yeah, they expended a lot to get this, you know, entry in the first place. Uh, the lockdown, of course, being the, the biggest utility expenditure. And then, you know, with it just being a Sheriff Eco round here from Go and Go Prince, getting three kills uh, with all of that. But was it four kills there? It was three or four. That's regardless really nice. Now Cobra is going to go pick up that operator. Now things get really scary uh, for F4Q. You're in the danger zone now. As that's going to make a really difficult kind of anything you want to do through mid, but you're right now with the way that that operator is positioned, what they've been doing and pushing onto A is working. And just kind of corner checking. They got to make sure that Cobra's not in short. Uh, so you can you could see on the corner of your screen there, 5K was kind of dancing around uh, just to make sure. And they, I don't think they've completely identified that Cobra's in here just yet, but a lot of smoke's uh, being put in his face because I think they realize he's not in short. Mm, pretty good chance he's in mid. By the way, a good read. So just kind of eluding this operator's line of sight. Spike going to be traded off to 5K. He'll rotate over towards the A site. Seems like we might have Fina and Esperanza. Getting ready to cause some confusion over here at B as the drone does come through. Got the dart out onto ones. Now it's going to be a three-member stack at B. Just the two at A. Star's starting to come out to cut off vision, have that gravity well set up as well on Heaven. Thanks for pulling out, though. Yeah, it's it's really difficult uh, for F4Q to find something. I think, you know, A, they want to identify where the operator is. B, they know that Kosa's alt is online as well, and that can make things rather challenging. Like you said, you know, if, if they can kind of suss out what Bunny's oh. doing. Oh, there's a cosmic divide that runs in. Yeah, Zimba lining that one up, and 5K, he doesn't check the corner! And JoJo just mows them down the spike, now dropped over at Boiler. In a 2v4, so yeah, you've got the site, but you don't have anything else. They don't have time, especially. It's the clock getting ready to run down. F4Q, this one fell apart in just the blink of an eye. Yeah, it, uh, we've seen it from time to time here. The time is going to tick down as well, and that's going to be the win uh, going into Go and Go Prince's hand. Uh, the gun's going to be able to be kept by F4Q, but that Cosmic Divide, I think, was meant to confuse Go and Go Prince and make them think that it was just going to be Everybody coming out of A main, and the timing here around the corner, yeah, 5K gets Kosa on the opening shot, but JoJo's right there along with Haobei stepping up right behind Kosa, so it's a good crossfire setup, good defensive thought from Go and Go Prince. They're not fooled uh, by the Cosmic Divide in any sense, and, uh, you know, it does kind of end up creating uh, that neutral zone. Oh, he's got the operator. Oh, corner check this time. Not going to pull the trigger is Cobra. Thought for a second there, 5K might have just overexposed himself. We saw it yesterday. Yeah. Where even if, if you just accidentally go a little bit too far, these operator players will pick you out of the air. Oh. There's a nice shot. Trying to go for the jump scare surprise. This bronze is just out around the corner, but Cobra reacts just a bit too fast. So 5K's baiting, not going to be masterful enough. Good kill there by Cobra. I like the attempt by Esperanza, though. That's a really cheeky maneuver there by F4Q. That, yeah. that could have worked, frankly, but I mean, yeah, like I said, Cobra is one of the most talented players actually in Korea. Uh, he is really, really difficult uh, to handle, especially with an operator in his hands. Solid pickup. We will see F4Q turn their sights now over to the B site. Slow creeps coming in. Start setups, ready for that gravity well. And pull somebody in. And here comes Bunny, because flying up over the top, but just doesn't check over towards the side, and Nox is set up. Pushes out, finds the kill, and again, it happens now this time to Afina. Can he get another? The answer is going to be no. 5K will pick him up. But Spike is going to be dropped. 5K is completely suppressed here at the moment. Hard angles being held. Cobra's waiting for the push in. There you go. That's the shutdown. Go and go, Prince. They bring this back within one round. Yeah, this is uh, this is tough when you're not able to identify uh, Nox's position. I think I thought Bunny saw him over on the B site, but I guess not. I mean, it's hard to it's hard when you're moving that quickly <laughs> to, to, to really track everything you're seeing 
and Bunny just wasn't able to really keep his eyes on him this start here. I love the attempt. I love the attempt, but it was just a bit too late there from Esperanza. And yeah, Anox kind of gets lost in the confusion that Market, I mean, they have every angle just going to go Prince there from Market, from Alley, from the site itself. That's that's an ideal B uh, defensive setup, and now it's got to be an eco round here, mostly, for F4Q. Anox is letting the darts go, trying to get any chip damage that he can. Won't find anything, though. Still do have a rifle for 5k as well as the full armor. Bunny with the judge in hand, but Fina dead out in B lobby. Aggressive push from Cobra finds him yet again. Uh, it's, yeah, that's that's a couple times they've been able to get a dart onto Afina, and this time they put, they're able to punish him because of that operator with it. Nicely done, and moving over towards A. Stars are down, but there's a lot of utility at the front of the site here. Osa gonna be up and heavy watching this. Here comes Bunny, he's got the showstopper, and it can't find a target. There's no one to throw it at. Needs to try to get an angle, send it up into heaven perhaps, but it's not gonna find any damage. It'll go in a little bit deeper. Everybody just pulls back to the ramp, stays safe. Now he will have the attempted five-man retake here for Gogo Prince. Uh, a Cosmic Divide available, but it doesn't seem like they're comfortable to use it just yet. Nobody's liking the idea of pushing through Evan. I think they have a pretty good sense that there might be a bunny uh, with, a, with a shotgun around the corner. They're well, going to take him down really nicely executed. Yeah, the bunny does fall. Suddenly Esperanza. Oh, I was going to say in a 1v2. Gets a Nox, but Kosa is there. Has plenty of time for the defuse, so Gongo Prince will tie us up at four to four. But all in all, that's a very successful round uh, for F4Q. You, you'll take sure. you'll take that, you know, with with the eco that you mostly went through. Yeah, 5K had an uh, assault rifle, but he's you know sitting on a little bit of extra cash because of those kills. Bunny went for the judge; it didn't pay off. But you know, you got to let him do what he's going to do with that because we've seen time <laughs> and time again that he can make miracles happen with the judge. And still, they get four kills; they get the plant down. This is economically not a bad round at all for everyone. For sure. Good on Kosa. Would have been incredible if Esperanza could have pulled it off. I mean, we had the, the insane clutch from Suggest just yesterday oh. on this map, on that very bomb site. But uh, just can't quite make it happen. So really good sheriff shots from him. Cobra does have the blades. I'm assuming those have been around for a while. A Nox with the Hunter's Fury. So a lot of alts available for Go and Go Prince. So this is a nice uh, potential round for them to do kind of do some economic damage uh, to F4Q, not just take the round, uh, yep. but maybe take it pretty efficiently as well. Yeah, any lead that they can net for themselves is going to be really good, especially, you know, going back to the, the earlier stats when we were looking at the win rates, both of these teams, you know, they do come out on top when it comes down to the defense. So, uh, you know, going even with F4Q, that is still going to be a scary prospect because I think they have like a 12% increased win rate uh, when they do shift over to that defensive side. So something is going to be in the back of going to Prince's minds. See if they can separate themselves now from F4Q. And that's a really good start as Bunny will be eliminated. Finds that pick straight up through A main. And F4Q, a lot of yeah, noise. there's Storm and out of here. I like this. This is really smart by F4Q. They get really close to that short A door. Meanwhile, they're locking down Market and pushing on through Esperanza, leading oh. the way. A decent shock dart there. Yeah, a really good one. He had sent out a second. It may well, very well have just found the kill onto an Ox. Doesn't let loose with it, though. Just shift over onto the spike site, get this planted. Now it looks like he be entrenched for this defense. Oh, okay, 5K. Kosa and Cobra gone in the blink of an eye. A magnificent shot from him. Knox got the open hand. Comes around the corner, gets the kill onto Afina, but Esperanza will finish him off. And good God. I was gonna say, can they deal with the lockdown? Yeah, well, they absolutely can when 5K just goes ahead, collapses him, and then finishes it off. Goodness gracious. I mean, 5K, uh, you know, we've been talking about Bunny, but 5K may actually be the best fragger on this team. He is just incredible there. Great setups here, great play call from F4Q. Gotta give them a ton of credit on this because they really sell that A fake hard, and they already had Esperanza deep in the market, ready to go on B, keeping track of what's going on over there, recognizes that B is basically open. Uh, all the reinforcements have been called over, and they just rotate right through mid quickly. Uh, I just love that from F4Q. This just shows you this new upgraded F4Q that not 
that can not only get it done through their fragging, but through their smarts now as well. Cobra wanting to push forward. Here's his turret, though, and can't really afford to expend any of his knives on it. And otherwise, it's just going to be a classic, which is not a very easy clear at all. Pop a gravity well, see if they catch anybody lurking around the entrance, but don't manage to find anything yet. And Athena has turned his sights over towards mid. Well, might be a battle coming up there in tree. 5k. Gonna have to look around this corner. JoJo Ooh. is in a bad time there. Oh, horrible timing there for Ooh. JoJo. 5k capitalizes. Zumba lurks in from behind, speaking up into window. Halbe, however, comes in. I mean, if Zumba had actually just moved through window, he would have been able to catch Koza from behind, but. Instead, loses out on that opportunity, loses his life. Thrown over the top, doesn't find much. Anox getting spotted, the Hunter's Fury. Now will come in, hasn't connected with anybody oh. yet, but that's gonna be a very nice hit. Picks Cobra down to half HP. Still does have the blade, still has to be respected. And now in response to the enemy lockdown, we'll see the Hunter's Fury come in. Esperanza, however, guns down Cobra, finds Halbe with a shock dart. Kosa gets that elimination. 2v2, low HP bars on the side of F4Q. Kosa, however, gonna fall. 5k comes up with a shot and knocks on the drop down. 46 HP remaining. Finds the kill, but now he doesn't have time to try to get this defuse. He says, okay, I'm just gonna be taking you with me, 5k. He tries to dismiss out. He lives a little bit longer, but the spike <laughs> explosion will get him in the end and F4Q will win another round. I, I mean, what we're seeing here from F4Q is great. It all begins, of course, with a little bit of a misstep by JoJo there in tree 5k is going to punish you every time for that and that opens up a site and 5k is really being or excuse me 5k f4q is being really smart about learning early from go and goes uh, re, uh you know retake patterns where they're going on the map and a lot of times they're willing to make long flanks to come through mid top uh, especially to try to get these retakes set up and they're always leaving somebody behind. This time it's Athena way deep watching, and that buys a ton of time here. The counter, you know, the Hunter's Fury early, uh, before Anox is even, buys so much time in heaven, and then he turns right, and he knows that door is still closed, so he turns right over to Short A. He there knows go. there's gotta be somebody there. Last pack entrance, doesn't quite land on top, but still has the judge in hand, doesn't take too much damage, just a little bit of chip coming through. There's, not there's, there's nothing for me to swap out here. They, you know, they're all on sheriffs, but I guess I'll pay, take a sheriff for myself. Otherwise, a really good entry here for Bunny, as we have very much come to expect from him. We're getting ready to be broken down. 5K getting himself tucked in the corner. Doesn't have any leers to try to go for a hard peek. Sees that dash come in. Cobra, the shorty, I believe, in hand. Doesn't manage to get too much done. Well, just gonna snap on, finds a Nox. And this should just be the cleanup, as Halbe is the last one left alive. Rotating around, wants to get himself into heaven, trying to get any kills that he could possibly find. Yeah, Otherwise, maybe. just sacrifice himself to the spike god. Yeah, right, exactly. Maybe to see if he can find that exit frag, but nope, it's gonna be Bunny with a Sheriff wall bangs him in the head. Nicely done here by F4Q, picking up their seventh win on the attacker side. Uh, you know, things get scarier, especially if they go up eight to four. This is firm control. Like you said, Bunny's great on those entries. Uh, that. <laughs> the, ju the judge, not so good at taking out a turret at long range, but whatever. Yeah. But he didn't take much damage from it. And there was a really nice dismiss from 5K at that door as well that kept him alive longer uh, to really buy time and make that entry, re entry, much more difficult for Go and Go Prince. All right. Well, we will have a little tech timeout. Hopefully, nothing too severe. We should be able to get things taken care of as we take a look back here at the entrance from Bunny. Changing it up slightly, I mean, still goes for a very similar approach, but sometimes, you know, I'm not gonna land up top this time, I'll go around the back, I can clear that angle, I can get a look in on to hell. This is very nicely done. It, they, I, they just look great. Uh, they're, they're really well coordinated right now. They're covering all their angles, they're in great positions to work off of each other. Uh, they're making good decisions on their on their entries, of course, with Bunny there, that, that, that makes things easier, no doubt. 5K. Uh, is great coming through the tree area. He's been basically unstoppable for the last couple of rounds coming through there. Uh, what can you say? They're, they look really, really strong. Yep. All right. Well, seems like it's going to be on the F4Q side of things. 
Okay, so it's just a slight little FPS issue. We want to make sure that everybody's operating at full capacity. Maximize it. I actually don't even know what hertz these monitors are. I assume we have like probably 240 on my, these. That would be my guess, yeah. At least a 144, though, for sure. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I'm sure they're very nice. They, they're they very, very nice. They I got like those little, little side things. Yeah, yeah. little side panels. Just, just, just keep you focused in. Yeah, so you're not like distracted by you. Although some people fold them out because they're like, we want to see what's going on. I, I find that interesting how some players just don't like it or do. I get it. I mean, like everything's all about preference a lot of the times where oh, you're yeah. set up and. One of my one of my favorite things I think, especially with like Korean esports that uh, Western fans like to to chuckle at, but like. I think it's just them not really understanding or even thinking about it for a moment is when you would see you like see pros come out and they're you know they have the ruler and they're measuring like the oh. distance to the monitor where their mouse mat placement is where the you know how far from the edge of the desk is the keyboard yes I was you know I was Flash or J Dong back in the day that kind of started doing that I think it was Flash probably Flash I think it was Flash that started doing that but you still see that to this day um, in multiple esports the Koreans they like to have everything in its very specific spot because i mean you think about it at home you know you, you go out to like a, a land center or maybe if you play at a friend's house you're like oh, it's it's just not the same i'm so much more comfortable with my home setup so yes. why would you not want to replicate that on stage yeah the muscle memory is easier to replicate if everything's identical to how it is at your house right like that's yeah. what, that's really what a lot of this is about is is training your body to do the right things at the right times because you you really can't be thinking during a game like Valorant. I mean, things happen so fast a lot of the times. It's just on your reaction. So the quicker and more natural you can make those reactions happen, the better, right? Yeah. Like, that's that's what it's about. And these players are smart to do those kind of things because I think at every, every little advantage, particularly in games like this where a microsecond makes a difference in a fight, you know, having those little advantages counts. Yeah. That's why I always, uh, I always tell my wife, like, don't vacuum my room. I'll take care of it because she likes to <laughs> – because, uh, you know, I have a, I have a cat, so yeah. my entire desktop is a mouse mat, and yeah. uh, cat hair likes to stick to that. So she'll come in and she'll, like, vacuum the top of my desk and try to get the, the fur off of it, and then my keyboard's out of place. I'm just like, oh, God, what do I do now? <laughs> Stop, no. I'm like, you're the, this is why I lost in Valorant last night. <laughs> you moved the keyboard. <laughs> a quarter of an inch. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm, like, I'm just, like, my stuff's just all over the place. I'm never like I'm I'm never in the same spot twice. Like I'm always adjusting my keyboard, <laughs> always adjusting my mouse. I'm never comfortable. Everything's got to be changing all the time for me. I've always I'm always moving around doing stuff. I mean, I'm kind of just a a fidgeter. <laughs> all right. Well, I think we'll hopefully get this resolved pretty quickly. Ideally. I'm sure they're getting on it here. Yeah. Oops. Hopefully we don't have any more any more frame dips, as the observers are just going on a wild tour. You guys can't see it, but they're just going wild. I know. I keep watching right the observer screen, and I'm like, we just flying around. Uh, look at the weird stasis of stuff that's exploded, but still floating in the air. In in Italy, right? Ascent is in Italy. Uh, yes, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You can tell because gelato. That's Italian. I have, I actually have no idea. Yes, it is. Okay. But uh, I think I, I actually... I'm not a worldly person. There is something, there's something about it. I forget. I, I think the Italians actually maybe don't even call it gelato. I forget. There was, there was some, I remember so, there was a post, somebody being like, this isn't actually, like, authentic Italian, oh, you know, because of this reason. Right. So I was like, ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we can be nitpicky, I guess. But, yeah, I know. I, being pedantic talk, is fun. Let's talk about the map and talk about the game rather than, you know, about, like, the specifics with gelato. Let's talk about Cobra's operator skin, right? Oh, well, he does get spotted. So. Uh-oh. Cloud Burst doesn't come out fast enough, but he does manage to exit without getting tagged up at all. Yeah, a lot of utility uh, being expended early for F4Q uh, to keep Cobra at bay, and it is going to force him way back uh, towards the spawn area at least, but he's going to keep watching. Uh, Zumba is behind the wall. Esperanza going to check with the Owl Drone, see if Cobra has indeed vacated the area. And there's 5K, who continues to just watch uh, this tree spot. <laughs> check in that corner. They yeah. learned the hard way. Yeah, doesn't want that to happen again. Pulls back just before that peak comes in from Halbe. You see the slight little blind. Just oh, oh, my God. Almost. Yeah, rips him apart. 12 HP remaining on 5K, so now he's going to be hoping to get an assist so just we can top back up with a Devour. Door not shut. 
Market unoccupied. Operator swinging back over towards the spawn for just a moment, but now it's his ice retrain back in, but here you go again. They tried this on a short, it did not work. But Co Cobra gets baited in the second time. Really nicely done from Esperanza. I love it. It's so smart. Yep. I, I mean, you can see these things that F4Q does, these calls that they're making are just genius. And Bunny is just gonna fly in, uh, why not? He has the boom bot still as well. As you know, we're gonna trade out. Oh, just able to tuck himself into the corner is Jojo from that Hunter's Fury. But yeah, this is so, so well executed by F4Q. All right, Cosmic Divide now gonna be used. Wall goes up. Remember, still playing forward. That's Bronze just gonna be melted through the wall. Very nicely done. Bunny him over, finds Jojo. And still a 2v4. So seeming like F4Q should be able to lock this in. 8 to 4. The rocket is out. Bunny blind for a moment. How they will come in from behind. But it's like, God, I just can't get any value with these rockets. <laughs> Everybody else, however, will just blow up with the spike. And F4Q will have a very nice dominant half after a bit of back and forth. I was I was gonna give Go and Go Prince a little bit of uh, credit on that B defense that they had defaulted into with Cobra back in the alley because they were hiding a member in the backside of B. They like they were I think they what they were thinking was that the last time F4Q had come through market we had all vacated over to A. So this time we're gonna hide in places, wait for F4Q to come in and try to make them think that B's open again and see if we can catch them sleeping a little bit. But F4Q had none of it. They were able to suss Cobra out. Uh, like you said, do that maneuver uh, with Esperanza again to quickly take him down. And then I yep. think it was a Nox that was in the backside of B just gets j racked by Fina or somebody. And that's it. That's the end of that B side hold. We'll call it the peekaboo. <laughs> the old peekaboo maneuver. <laughs> Phenomenally done. I, the more that I watch Bunny, I just, I had this thought with his entry onto the B site there. You know what I really would love? At Riot, you can have this idea for free, your new game mode, uh, just for funsies. Um, <laughs> That's for us to just set up Dart. <laughs> Coast is down 34. Maybe I'll have to hold this thought, but uh, yeah. uh, a raised surfing map. Oh, you know, like how you so good. Had surf maps yeah, in, yeah. Uh, in in CS. Yeah. Let's make a raise one. You have to you know use the blast packs to go from oh, surface to surface. Yeah, I would be all about that. I think that'd be really fun. But here we go. Really heavy stack moving in to B at the moment. It's gonna be Grabbing 5k well. off the bat, getting taken out, but still alive. Does trade one with him, but then the Nox will come back in, finds the kill with a nice headshot. Seems up the top Cobra here in mid cuts off the reinforcements as Afina will fall. How they? Trains it on Esperanza skull. Funny. Oh, and it's lonesome. Oh, it's suppressed right as he tries to go for the paint shells. It's tucked back into the corner, but he is just between a rock and a hard place at the moment. Wrap around's coming in. Cobra's got the headshot, and that is going to be a nice pistol round win for Gungo Prince. Yeah, really clean pistol round here. Just kind of stacking and getting through the gravity well at a nice timing. F4Q just isn't, doesn't check that, that angle at the right time. They're kind of bouncing back and forth looking and then they have to hide behind the wall for a second and not really sure exactly how many are coming through there and it's just an over stack uh, that pays off for going go prince hitting some nice shots along the way and now you move over and it's kind of that traditional now what we see here new turn kind of styled this anti-eco setup with the three specters two ghosts uh, as your your second round follow-up to a pistol win See how it goes. Okay, and oh, okay. Well, that's uh, not a good start. <laughs> Just the way he yells. It's one of the ghost players. It's okay. You can uh, you can afford to lose him. Go to Prince. You still at least right you hold on to the specters and don't hand those over to F4Q. They should be okay. But Goodness. yeah, that is that is just pain. Ghost is gonna get spotted out there, I believe. As oh. Well. oh my God, Bunny is dialed in through the wall. Doesn't quite get the kill, and Halbe. Out dual 5k. Ghost superior to Sheriff, it would seem, but Zumba presses in the classic. Gets a nice kill. Is everybody else going to move forward into B lobby? And F4Q, they start pulling off of the site. They think that this is going to be an A hit. Yeah, this is a bit of a misread here by F4Q right now. I think not, uh, something is now triggered in Esperanza's brain, and he, he's moving back over. He's going to send a dart oh. in there and get the kill. And follow up through the smoke. Unreal. <laughs> Phenomenal from Esperanza. Finds both of the low HP members. Now it's a 4v2. 
Still technically outgunned, but they have these sheriffs in their hands, so if they can come up with some headshots, very quick turnaround for them. They have to wait out the fragment. It's off that right side reinforcement through Alley. Suppression. Now gonna connect, but Jojo. Oh, he was spotted, and Zumba just nails gorgeous back to back shots. The defuse will come in, and F4Q win in the eco round. I mean, this is just insane play from F4Q. I mean, hitting those headshots early at long range with the Sheriffs brings two of the members down to five, and then and then they're able to clean. I mean, Esperanza, just the, the timing, the senses when he realizes first that something's wrong. Yeah. And that Ed A isn't getting hit fast enough, and the, he leads with the shock dart, so smart to recognize the situation, just shoots through the smoke. I, I mean, just the awareness there by him is through the roof. I, there's probably going to be, you know, people saying like, ah, they should have like all bought specters and like, they would have lost. They would have won the round. No, no, that would not have solved anything. Uh, this was so well done by F4Q, just completely outplaying them, outgunning them, out aiming them, everything. No purchases other than you know maybe you know the marshal that we see Cobra using would have changed the outcome. No, nothing changes. They're just unbelievable. Maybe oh, you could man. argue you have somebody else at mid top with a marshal or something. You know, you have Cobra there instead. Yeah, because uh, I mean, yeah, having that gun will just kind of like change the overall positioning. But as far as like everything else, it wasn't really like necessarily misplays. Just great shots. I mean, getting yeah. those initial just wall bangs through to chunk out two members to set up for Esperanza to get that double kill on the site. It was just gorgeous. This is what makes that 4Q so tough. Even when they make bad reads, they still recover from it very successfully. Life out. Just only gets Zumba with the suppression. Funny. Trying to hold things down. Cobra, though, a very nice shot. Finds 5K. Zumba is waiting here on the point, but he turns away. And just the worst moment possible. Kosa gets set up for a very easy kill. We'll recover that Spectre as well. Now, 3v5, several low HP members, however, on the side of Gungo Prince. It's definitely still winnable, but it's going to be a, a very uphill battle for F4Q to take this back. Yeah, I mean, Fina's got to be real careful and real smart here to pick out JoJo. F4Q really has done their homework watching for these flanks. Oh, Cobra somehow not dying, funny. Does manage to find that kill. Push in now from Tree. Afina gets rid of Kosa. It's just a Nox and Halbe left to deal with. But Halbe, he's entrenched in hell. He's got a full HP bar. But he can't get it done. Can Afina? They both go in to try to peek him. He almost gets the transfer off. But Halbe will be the last one standing. Go and go Prince. They put a sixth round in. Yeah, this one, a really nice entry. Kind of fooling, you know, the members of F4Q. Getting that initial headshot onto 5K is such a big deal. You can see here. Uh, why he's leading an ACS and you know his his kill to death ratio is pretty good here too. So you get that headshot, open some space from Cobra, and that really makes things a lot easier. And then Kosa comes around the corner and catches Zumba, or it was Zumba, right? Who was just kind of yeah, not really sure what was going on there. It's pivoting, it was yeah. just you know if he I had think just he held on that angle, and, yeah. yeah. If he had just stayed there for just a moment longer, probably would have gotten the kill on the Kosa unless he got you know. A really nice uh, headshot in, but is what it is. Going to go Prince, though, keeping things very tight-knit, very competitive. So still down by three rounds, but this is a nice little, you know, offset for themselves to get that round victory, make sure that they're still keeping rifles in their hands. Yeah, it's a really nice. And I was uh, I was going to say the money's really awkward <laughs> for, for F4Q right now. Zumba has a ton, and nobody else is really sitting super pretty, so I think they're going to go for it. Sheriffs mostly looks like a vandal going to be put into the hands of Zumba. So go and go Prince with a big opportunity uh, to put a seventh round win on the board. Yeah, I mean, they have this lockdown as well, which not many people can deal with. Bunny maybe with a really nice nade angle, but otherwise could prove to be a bit difficult. So we do see Nano Swarms being chucked out, dart up over the top. Everybody's still waiting, just looks to scout through the smoke with the turret. Cobra, however, has already got himself in onto the sights, doing the bunny special. He finds the kill on the bunny. Cloud first up just to try, buy some extra time. The lockdown will be used straight in onto the site. 
doesn't think he can do anything to try to counteract this. The blind comes in and Cobra just mows him down. Three now on the round. Potential ace, perhaps. As we see 5K and Zumba hanging out over by tree. What a fantastic blind from Kosa. I mean, there's just never any hope for F4Q. They try to get something going, and Ox is lurking at mid top. This is just so well done by Go and Go Prince. Well, the Ace Dream is dead, but 5K. Oh, tries to line him up, manages to find two. Back again off the dismiss, but he's so very low. And he has just got no hope here. We'll just die, get that extra bonus money coming in. It was good damage dealt, you know, to get those kills coming through to, you know, just kind of force Go and Go Prince to have to buy some more rifles, but it's not going to be nearly enough. So Go and Go, they could very well string a third round on the, uh, the back end of this. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, this is at least something out of nothing for 5K, but this is such a well-executed uh, movement here. Cobra, yeah, like you said, the bunny special follows up off Kosa's blind perfectly. Anox is watching mid-top, and if it wasn't for this 5K nuttery with the, with the Sheriff, then, you know, that is a clean round. But, oh, not quite for them, so... You know, F4Q gets something done back to the rifles, but a really important round for F4Q because it feels like if they don't win this one, it's going to be tied up uh, rather quickly with the way the economy will swing. Drone just checking out all of mid. Didn't spot anything, though. As Halbang, oh, snaps in auto. If you know, Esperanza will make it a one for one. He's a problem. The reinforcements are on the way for F4Q deep into mid-top territory. We're going to have a battle here. JoJo, I think, senses something's up with Zumba. Zumba might be in oh, trouble. Oh, man. Zumba is just not having the best time when it comes down to these lurks. Just doesn't check that angle. That's, that's not something that you can really afford to be doing. 5K is playing quite far forward. A bit of a whiff on the spray. Pulls back away from the paint shells. Now looks over to main. Bunny going to be dead. 5K. Getting JoJo. Nox will find both of them. Spike's now planted, and Esperanza finds himself in a 1v2. He's got an opportunity. If he can, if he can get a Nox underneath or just get Kosa at long range, he gets the dink. Yeah, he does. I'm surprised he doesn't let a shock dart go out. Yep. Now he knows. <laughs> <laughs> huh, I wonder where he could be. Drops down, gets the headshot. Still see the wraparound coming through from Kosa, making his way up into tree. Slow walking, hold at least a half now as Bronza faking the second. Wow! What a shot! Three kills for him and the defuse F4Q. They stop the momentum. They move up to 10. <laughs> I mean, Esperanza plays this so, so smart, so patiently, hits that dink, knows that likely somebody's underneath him, just drops down, catches him with their pants down, and then gets the half defuse. And it's funny, if he could have just, he, he just held it, I think he had enough time to just pull it off, but he has to respect the fact that, you know, Kosa is still in uh, a main. Looks over there, realizes that because nobody's peeking, there's the potential that they're going to be in tree and just swings right and swings true. It's a great shot. Incredible. Man, just so good. Oh. Yeah. Too too risky to, to have stuck on it. It's like you said, just the perfect uh, decision and just a nasty swing to get that shot. Yeah, no, you never can stick in that. <laughs> like, you... <laughs> <laughs> Not unless you have like cloud bursts or something where you could give yourself some kind of obscurement. Of course, it's a so it's a sofa, so you can't do that. But look at the stacks for Golden Prince. Oh boy! Oh boy! If Esperanza didn't get suppressed there, that could have been huge. It would have been nasty. But what oh. the wonder what am Fina? Let's get the down on the coast, and we'll see if they can recover him. The spray comes in. Esperanza, he says, "Yep, I know approximately where he was down and where they will be standing to try to recover him." So. <laughs> just spray through, just kill him. <laughs> Look at all this utility to take <laughs> Kosa he's, out. He's still, he's still there, but if he finally will finish him off, put him in, putting him out of his misery, almost. So, wall comes up, Esperanza gets himself in under the sight! Man, oh. this guy is on a tear! Just used the Hunter's Fury, and he's already got half of his charges back after this no, defuse comes in. 11 to 7.
Can't fork Q two away from ending his map. I mean, just back-to-back -back rounds of brilliance. A lot of brilliance from him on this defender's side. He is worth his weight in gold. I mean, these these shots and utilities through smoke for him on that from that alley position are incredible. His his sense of where people will be and the lineups that he needs to have are just just top tier right now. I, I mean, this he is incredible. Don't miss. Just wonderfully done. Lafina's doing great here up on front as well. Oh, yeah. What a hold. But, I, I mean, just the spray. Okay, sure, I get that. But, I mean, just charges in, has this. Just done so beautifully. He just knows. He just, he just knows where everything is. Cobra has to go for the Blade Storm. Things getting desperate for Go and Go Prince. Of, of course, if they lose this, then it's guaranteed at least overtime for F4Q. Economy's not good. You have a few good alts. Try to set something up. Drone going to be finished off before I believe they spotted Athena. Might not matter though, as nobody's making their way over towards Market. Cobra getting ready to try to break things open on the side. Jojo around the back will make that a one for one, and that's going to be value at least. Makes it a little oh, bit better. Oh, Cobra with a huge whiff. Doesn't get bunny, and even just one knife would have finished them off here. You know, pushes out, finds Halbe, another one for one trade out. So 3v3 and HP bars, honestly, looking a lot better right now uh, until that happens, until Zimba gets two. Well, looking dire now, but Anox is going to find the weakened bunny. Uh, you know, you know, something. 100 HP, he's got half armor. He's got a hunter spear in. He's got one dart. That one dart will kill either of them. <laughs> What is this lockdown? Oh my god, they're using the lockdown to defend the spike because he has to come recover this. He's just gonna come charging in for it. He's got the spike, he's gonna try to run away. He's not gonna make it out of here. Oh no. Wait, they don't know. They don't know where he is. They thought he went towards the site. Okay, okay. now they're gonna get it. Oh, yeah. there's the knife. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> I thought he was... Okay. I thought he was actually gonna draw down and get the kill. That would have been the... That would have been the dumbest, most hilarious thing that I would ever see in the history of Valorant if the lockdown wore off what and then he that? killed both of them. What was that round? I would have lost my mind. I First of all, like, I didn't, it didn't, I, the spike being where it was made for the oddest lockdown I've seen in my life. <laughs> see, guys? This is why you watch VCT Korea. Yeah, we have we have the good stuff. We got top players. We got incredible strategies, and we've just got ridiculous <laughs> nonsense <laughs> from time to time. It's the whole package. They got it all, baby. What's not to like? We've got a Nox doing some work on a 5K, but Esperanza around the back gets a Nox peeking out. Oh, that's a good gravity well. Buys a little bit of time here for Zumba, but the door is going to get shut. He's going to have to readjust. We'll just rotate around towards Ali as the spike gets planted. Cause of holding things down in main. Everybody just getting situated, getting ready for the approach. Let's see how they decide to execute on this. Really even weaponry, but Go Go Prince absolutely need to get this win. Bunny getting set up for his entry. Comes sailing up over the top, lands, finds two, the rocket is out, throws it over to the side, it's a 3k for Bunny. Can he get a little bit more? Kosa is lurking in the smoke, it will get struck down. And that is, I guess, the best way to summarize F4Q, just encapsulate them in one single motion. Bunny finds four on the round, and F4Q take the map.